Mike Perovic came onto the comics scene in 1989 when he drew a Dr. Light story in DC Comics Secret Origins number 37. Later that year, he became the penciler for that publisher's comic book, El Diablo, a story about a modern-day, non-powered Western hero. In 1991, he was brought in to pencil The Fly, one of DC's comics under the Impact banner, which was a revival of the comics characters from the publisher Red Circle. Though not one of DC's best sellers, this was a fun book of whimsical adventure. Meant for younger readers and the young at heart, the lighthearted story was perfect for Perelbeck's cartoony art. Still, fans who enjoy DC's Golden and Silver Age characters probably remember his 1992 work on the short-lived Justice Society of America series most fondly. Within the ten issues, he portrayed a group of formerly time-displaced heroes of the World War II generation seeking to find their place in modern life. That same year, Perelbeck also illustrated a four-issue series headlining one of DC's elastic heroes, The Elongated Man. Even later in 92, the artist became heavily involved in DC's licensed properties. Mike became one of the artists on the Batman Adventures, a series done in the style of the then hugely popular Batman animated television series. This is where many believe his star shined the brightest. Capturing the feel of the animated series superbly, Perelbeck successfully conveyed the darkness necessary for the character while retaining the element of fun for which he would become famous. Throughout his career, he thrilled readers with a style that was clean-lined, vibrant, dramatic, and action-oriented. In this reviewer's opinion, Mike Perelbeck may very well be, in large part, responsible for the revival of the animation style in comics art. Sadly, Mike Perelbeck passed away in July of 1996 at just 30 years of age. However, his unique and exceptional style of comics art remains to thrill fans old and new alike, and it is highly recommended.